Hello, everyone. This is Crystal Jordan with Rolling Out, and we are here with our very special guest for today. Mr. Marlon Wayans is hanging out with us. How are you us. doing? You got me out here with my chest chesticles out, but it's all good. Go on. The finish chest, your well, we're not upset with I'm, the chest. Okay? My top of my breast is cold, so <laughs> let's finish your interview. Get on moving for Negro that ass. Why you ain't got no shirt on? <laughs> it was all day for it. And then the photographer man wanted to put some oil on my left nipple. You look very handsome. Thank you. Very, very handsome. Thank you. Yes, we, we both great. got cleavage out. Let we, them know. <laughs> no, we, we the cleavages. <laughs> you are here in Atlanta to promote your, well, actually, to tape your, your new comedy special. Yeah. God loves me. Yes. yes. You know what it is? I spent probably the last three years of my life in Atlanta. Really? I filmed three movies here. Okay. And so, I, and I've actually been looking at actually buying a home here. And I came here and I, I did a show at the center stage and I fell in love with the, the, the space and I fell in love with the, the people and their laugh and they really embraced what I was saying. And I think as a culture and as a destination, they're completely gonna understand it. And I, I use them as the pulse of the rest of America. It's like how, okay. how the vote was the deciding <laughs> vote yes, here. Yes, yes, right here. Well, Absolutely. this is, I'm gonna trust that their vote is right and that yes. they know, sisters know what we <laughs> what they talk about when it comes to this comedy, this humor, and this, this soul. I've learned too that, and this is when I started adding to the show that I'm doing, it's called God Loves Me. Mm -hmm. When I came here and I heard the laughs, I knew exactly to kind of shape the show for me. Uh, because it was kind of, a, uh, before it was like bifurcated because it was half about my mom and half about like an incident that happened. And I was just like, you know what? It's two different shows. So I'm gonna take the mom stuff and I'm gonna do that after I do this one. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's special, special enough for me to film it out of my pocket in Atlanta. Take a choice. Cause y'all can be hard too. I've no, <laughs> seen many no. a comic bomb out here. Y'all <laughs> love but you know what to it is? not laugh when he ain't funny. Atlanta is real. Atlanta is real. You are. You're, you're going to get the real. Atlanta is so real. T.I., who's a good friend of mine, <laughs> went to New York. And I love New York. I'm from New York. They will boo you. <laughs> oh, if you say hi wrong, they boo you. They booed that man in New York, 5,000 people. That man came on play. He came right to Atlanta. Came home. He, he came performed home. and got a stand ovation. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's love. Yeah. That's like y'all ain't gonna do that to our baby. <laughs> but no, but I, I feel that because I was out here at the time and um, you know, y'all came out to the show and I just and like I said, it just shaped the show for me. I knew exactly what what the show was. Yeah, I love that. Well we're excited that you're doing it here. We definitely think you should buy a home here. In fact, we probably have some connects later that we can help you, you know, find. Okay, the right. sis already trying to make money. You see that? <laughs> sis, sis already. You she know, already put her little bit in. We can uh, help you fa facilitate that's what we do here. that situation. Mm -hmm. It's black girl magic here. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. So how so how do you prepare for a comedy special? Is it and how is it different than preparing for a movie role? Um, it's similar but different. A movie role. Depends, because I always write my movies. Okay. For the most part, I write and produce my movies. And when I don't, I study the script enough to understand the character and the backstory. And if I can't, if they don't lend me that, then I have to create that. And that's the writer in me that will create the story and the backstory of which then I can act. When it comes to a comedy special, that story, that's all God's inspiration. That's just him whispering into you. It's complete creativity, nobody else. I don't write with writers. I write. I'll come with an idea, I'll be in the shower, or I'll be on a treadmill, and I just get this idea, it could be from the news or something that happened or something that hurts me, and I go, oh, you know what's funny about that? And then I start playing with it. So this new set that I'm doing started out literally with like a three minute joke. Mm -hmm. And then I kept playing with it. And by the end of one weekend, I had like 20 minutes. And I kept playing with it. And then by the end of like three months, I had an hour and a half. And then now the last two weeks, I've been cutting the fat. And I got a dope, beautiful hour and seven minutes that I'm gonna film. Well, we can't wait to see Two it. shows Saturday night. Two shows Saturday night right here in Atlanta. You're gonna share with us a little, a little more from your cover shoot, right? We had a good time tonight. 
hanging out. I think y'all had a better time than I did. <laughs> Looking at my cut that part. Like, We're gonna cut that my part. My nipple being moisturized with oil, two different oils. We're gonna cut all that out. <laughs> ladies, cut all ladies, that out. ladies. No, they ain't. They don't, they don't put that in there. You lying? Don't try and make yourself look good. You was the first one with oil, and then the makeup lady came. So, huh? I mean, you know, he looks good in the suit. Stay tuned. <laughs> There's so much more coming with Marlon Wayans right here with Rolling Out.